Chapter 1, Lesson 4, Order and Pattern. In this lesson, the kids are expected to be able to compare more than two numbers. So when they're comparing more than two numbers, we need to distinguish between greater and greatest. So greater is comparing two. Greatest is comparing more than two. And smaller versus smallest. So smaller is for two and smallest is for more than two. Okay, the strategy for this lesson is the same as the last lesson. Just look at a single place value. Okay, so to demonstrate, this is page 22. In this lesson, the kids are supposed to know what more than and less than would mean. So we need to remind them that when they see more than, it usually means plus, you're adding. If it says less than, you're usually subtracting. Now I say usually because in the later lessons, more than and less than could mean differently. So for now, more than we add, less than we subtract. So two more than 415 is. So we're adding two to 415. So that makes it 417. If it helps to write down, it's better to write down 415 plus two. Okay, but if they can do it mentally, then it's also better that they do mentally. Okay, three less than 300 and 635. So we're subtracting three from 635. So which means that would be 632. Okay, what is four more than 165? So we need to add, because it says more, four to 165, which makes it 169. And then it says what is? Five less than 274. So, which means we're subtracting five from 274. But the kids are not taught how to do uh, regrouping yet. Therefore, the ideal thing to do is to count back. So, 273, 272, 271, 270, and 269. Therefore, this will be 269. So they could count with their fingers or they could write it down. Safest is for them to write it down. Okay, here we are looking for patterns. Clearly, this is plus 4. This is plus 1. This is plus 4. This is plus 1. So our pattern should be this is plus 4. The next one should be plus 1. The next one should be plus 4. And the next one should be plus 1. So therefore, 1 added to that is 43. 4 added to 43 is 47. And confirming with a plus 1 would mean it's 48. Now, it's best when it's patterns that they write down the pattern. So this should not be done mentally. This should be done visually. Okay, so which means we need to teach our kids to either be able to count back with their fingers or write down items. It's also best to have them write down the pattern when it's looking for patterns. That concludes chapter one, lesson four. I'll see you in the next lesson.